Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through number system. In the last session, we learned how to represent root 2, root 3, root 4, and root 5 on a number line. And we have seen a square root spiral 4 representing root 2, root 3, root 4, root 5, etc. But this method of drawing square root spiral is a lengthy method. But if it is possible to take suitable measurements on the base and altitude of a right triangle so that hypotenuse is root n. Then we can apply this method to construct root n on the number line where n is a positive integer. Let's see some more examples. First, let us represent root 8 on a number line. We know that the number 8 lies between the perfect squares 4 and 9 so root 8 lies between root 4 and root 9 or between 2 and 3 that is the value of root 8 lies between 2 and 3 which are the possible numbers on the base and altitude of a right triangle so that hypotenuse is root 8 units. We know that every positive integer can be expressed as the sum of a preceding perfect square and another positive integer. So 8 can be written as 8 equals 4 plus 4. Forgetting root 8 as the hypotenuse of a right-angled triangle. Take the square root of these numbers as base and altitude. That is, here base equals root 4 equals 2 units. And altitude is also root 4, which is equal to 2 units. Now let us prove this result by Pythagoras' theorem. If OA equals 2 units, AB equals 2 units, then, by Pythagoras' theorem, OB square equals OA square plus AB square equals 2 square plus 2 square equals 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. Therefore, OB equals root 8 units. Now, let's see the representation of root 8 on a number line. First, draw a number line and mark a point O to represent 0. Next, mark a point A on this number line so that OA equals 2 units. At A, draw a line perpendicular to the number line using protractor. On this perpendicular, mark a point B so that AB equals 2 units. Join OB. Now, we have root 8 units on the hypotenuse of the right-angled triangle OAB. We have to bring it on the number line. Next, with O as center and OB as radius, draw an arc intersecting the number line at P. Then P represents root 8 on the number line. Now, let's see 
representation of root 10 on a number line. Since the number 10 lies between the perfect squares 9 and 16, root 10 lies between root 9 and root 16, or between 3 and 4. That is, the value of root 10 lies between 3 and 4. Which are the possible numbers on the base? and altitude of a right triangle so that hypotenuse is root 10 units. We know that 10 can be expressed as the sum of just preceding perfect square 9 and a positive integer 1. For getting root 10 as the hypotenuse of right angled triangle, take square root of 9 and 1, which are the base and altitude of the right angled triangle. That is, base equals root 9 equals 3 units, and altitude equals root 1 equals 1 unit. Now, let us prove this result by Pythagoras' theorem. Here we choose O A equals 3 units and A B equals 1 unit. By Pythagoras' theorem, O B square equals O A square plus A B square equals 3 square plus 1 square equals 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. Therefore, O B equals root 10 units. Now, let's see the representation of root 10 on a number line. Draw a number line and mark a point O to represent 0 on it. Take a point A on this number line so that O A equals 3 units. At A, draw a line perpendicular to O A using protractor. On this perpendicular, mark a point B, so that AB equals 1 unit. Join OB. Now, we have root 10 units on the hypotenuse of the right angled triangle OAB. We have to bring it on the number line. With O as center and OB as radius, draw an arc intersecting the number line at P. Then P represents root 10 on the number line. Next, we move to the representation of root 13 on a number line. We know that 13 lies between the same perfect squares as we discussed in the representation of root 10. On the number line, so clearly, we can say, the value of root 13 lies between 3 and 4. What are the possible measurements on the base and the altitude of a right triangle to get root 13? We know that 13 can be expressed as the sum of just preceding perfect square 9 and a positive integer, 4. For getting root 13 as the hypotenuse of right angled triangle, take square root of 9 and 4, which are the base and altitude of the right angled triangle. That is, base equals root 9 equals 3 units, and altitude equals root 4 equals 2 units. Now, let us prove this result by Pythagoras' theorem. If we take OA equals 3 units, AB equals 2 units, then by Pythagoras' theorem, OB square equals 
OA square plus AB square equals 3 square plus 2 square equals 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. Therefore, OB equals root 13 units. Now, let's see the representation of root 13 on a number line. Draw a number line and mark a point O, representing 0 on it. Take a point A on this number line so that OA equals 3 units. Next, at A, draw a line perpendicular to OA using protractor. On this perpendicular, mark a point B so that AB equals 2 units. Join OB. Now, we have root 13 on the hypotenuse of the right angled triangle, OAB. We have to bring it on the number line. With O as center and OB as radius, draw an arc intersecting the number line at P. Then P represents root 13 on a number line. Let's recall what we discussed today. We learned the representation of root 8, root 10, and root 13 on a number line. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Represent root 17 on a number line. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.